velocity time graph. These are very, very similar but completely different to distance time graphs. And it's important that you're familiar with distance time graphs first because they're just that little bit easier. And if you know these well, it will make this bit much, much easier for you to understand. So first of all, we have to have our units for velocity. And velocity is measured in metres per second. Time is measured in seconds. Now, there is a distance between speed and velocity, and it's important that you know it. Velocity is just speed with a direction. So here we have a velocity velocity time graph. We have velocity going upside and then we have time going along the bottom. And time is in seconds here. Now, unlike our distance time graph, where we're going at a steady speed with a velocity time graph, our velocity is increasing with each second. So if you see a graph that looks like this on a velocity time graph, it is accelerating. Here on a velocity time graph, even though time is increasing, our velocity is staying the same. So in this circumstance, it is going at a steady speed. Here for the first part, like I just said, we are going at a steady speed. And then for the second part down here, where it is going down, we are decelerating. This is a very typical sort of graph where we have three things happening. Accelerating, steady speed, and then decelerating. There are two really important maths bits you need to know. Firstly, how to work out acceleration from the graph. And this is the sort of thing you'll get on your formula sheet. So this is acceleration. This is final velocity. This is initial velocity. And this one here is time. Your units for all of this, time is in seconds, velocity is in meters per second, and acceleration is in meters per second squared. I know your formula sheet doesn't tell you this, but I would like you all to lay out your questions like this. I'm gonna be really, really picky because if I'm really picky and nag you and train you to do it this way, it'll be a lot easier in the exam to see if you've made a mistake and it'll be a lot easier for the examiner to follow through what you've done. So I would like you to include final time minus initial time as well. So here is our graph. We are going, or I'm going to divide this into three sections, A, B and C, and we're going to work out the acceleration for each section. So our final velocity is 4, our initial velocity was 0, our final time was 4 and our initial time was 0. So there we will move that 1 metres per second squared. That was our acceleration in that bit there. I would like us to work out part B now. So if we go across, we can see our final velocity was 4. Our initial velocity was 4. Our final time was 8. Our initial time was 4. That gives us 0 divided by 4, which equals 0 metres per second squared on absolutely everything I want us to be putting our units and then for part C 
our final velocity is zero. Our initial velocity, if we track this back, was four. Our final time was 10 and our initial time was eight. That gives us minus four divided by two, which is going to equal minus two meters per second squared. The next bit of important maths we need to know is that distance is the area under the graph. So we need to work out the distance travelled in section A here, and this is a triangle, and triangles are half times base times height. So we have half the base of the triangle along here is four, the height of the triangle up here is 4, so that equals 8 metres. Part B is slightly different because it is a rectangle, so it's just base times height. Our rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4. And our height is 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is going to equal 16 metres. For section C here, again, it is half times base times height. So that is half times the base here, which is T squares times height, which is 1, 2, 3, 4 squares, which is going to equal 4 metres. Now, some students, I know, automatically put metres squared here because they're working out an area, but the area corresponds to a distance, so it is in metres. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.